Everybody, thanks for checking out the Chris Gethard Show podcast. It's really um, cool that you're checking this out. We're about to do, I think, the dumbest show we've done in years. His life would be trashed! Hey, you better believe I'm trashed. We are uh, scrappy trash people. What's the point of this show? I just turned it on. We've always been with we've this show. We've always been trash people. We will always be trash people. It's true. This doesn't feel real. Hello! Hello, Hello everyone, Hello. and live from my grandmother's basement, I'm Emily Pineapple. And I'm Forrest, keeper of the canon. And this is We Are Trash People, the stream where we talk about yes. things in the general orbit, feeling the gravitational pull of Chris Gethard's Twitch-based comedy network, uh, Planet, Planet Scum. Scrum, if you want to yes, pronounce it yes, the yes, way yes, someone yes, yes, did yes, yes, yes. on the phone with Forrest today about his resume. Yeah, so they, you work for Planet Scrum. Scrum. Correct. I am a scrum master. And then like said scrum like five more times. Like and just I... to like for us to know that yeah. she thought that he had a typo. And I well, yeah. Or just like <laughs> read it quickly. And I didn't want to correct the idea that, hey, I'm just this it's a whole Twitch comedy network all about sprints. Sprints. Task prioritization. Uh games within a within a team. Oh, games. Of soccer or football or yes. another sport. I do love. Or e-sport. I love that you go for sports and I go for Well, because oh, I've only ever heard of that. I, I never engineering team. Uh, that's true. I heard it in the engineering context mm -hmm. primarily. Whereas I was forced to play soccer I as was a child. not forced to play anything, so my big sport was Star Wars video games. Yeah, story points, burn down charts. Yeah. Exactly, Alice. I like I wonder I do want to ask my mother if I ever asked to not play soccer. I played basketball actually, but I wasn't forced to. I loved <laughs> basketball. I played basketball as well for a year. I would do like a sport a year oh. once I was chosen, once I was allowed to choose. Not um, all places you uh, scrum based uh, 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 organizational uh, styles. No. Apparently. Apparently. Are you guys tall? No. No. Well, I'm 100. I'm like actually the average height. I think I am too. Yeah? Oh, uh, Stephen Premel says I'm a mighty oak. Yes. Thank you so uh, much, Ollie Garden. Oh. Uh, okay, I am you. apparently... Uh, You're an inch taller. I'm an... Well... I'm either right at the average in <laughs> California or I'm an inch taller. I've heard that I'm an inch taller, but I don't believe it. Oh, okay. I don't think I'm 5'11". That doesn't seem right. Are you 7'11"? Oh, thank heaven. Are you 9'11"? Never forget the Good Night Show. <laughs> it's Great Night Show number two. <laughs> Great Night Show number two on Chris Gethard Presents, the precursor. In so many ways, two planets come live. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, gather around. Gather around on the story circle because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about what we'll be doing today in class. Yes. We're going to start off uh, with. with a little tarot time. That's right. Yeah. Planet readings uh, from the beautiful Planet Scum Tarot deck designed by our very own Stephen Premel. Then we're going to go into our... Uh, Trivia. Trivia. T -t 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 trivia I for today. Weird. I don't have a bumper for trivia. I got to make one of those. I have a bumper for everything else. And here's a question else. that I kind of sure have thing. for all of you. Uh, oh, that not just, for me. Okay. No, it's not for you. Okay, Even though you would be part of working on this, so you do need to hear it. Uh, also, I still hear you, even without headphones. Do y'all want stickers for if you win the trivia? The We Are Trash People trivia. Because I made all these stickers about, like, winning... <laughs> Uh, Grand Trivia for our other show on Fridays, uh, Radio Free Multiverse. Thank you. Thank you, Bryson. And I'm like, and I'm, I'm really into making stickers now. And I'm like, would, would y'all want, would y'all want stickers saying that you won this bullshit? I don't know. Yeah, Bryson's watching on YouTube. Why is Bryson commenting on YouTube like a nerd, says Alice <laughs> Flower Cemetery. 
Uh, Bryson, if you want to answer on YouTube, I can pass that message on to everyone else watching at twitch.tv slash we are trash people or we are trash dot com. Yeah, Bryson's too cool for Twitch. Yeah, Stephen Premel says Premel stickers would be rad. Oh, well, yeah. Hell yeah. But you would then have to send us your address so that yes. we can send you stickers. So that's something to consider. What has happened on Fridays is right. uh, there, are, there are a lot of Horde Jedi franchise owners who choose to mm-hmm, play mm-hmm. the trivia under a moniker related to Horde Jedi. Like as Horde Jedi actual. Horde Jedi real, Horde, Horde Jedi, Jedi not fake, real. Or not real. Uh, yeah. And those are all the franchise owners. And some of them have given me their addresses to send them the I won. And so they got uh, stuff. Some of them have chosen not to, and so those are sent to Horde yeah. Jedi. And, and yeah, Single Walk Run is correct. The, the real answer is Bryson doesn't have a Twitch, and so... Is that the real answer? Bryson, just make a Twitch account. Well, he has planets to come live. Those are all Horde. They're probably uh, all Horde Tovin on, like, says... seven different devices. And so the origin of that was Horde couldn't make it to his show, but popped in to say hello, even though Horde couldn't no, make it. No, she's selling franchises. Right. Yeah, it gave her that like really and that good inspired idea. The concept, right? To franchise. It's like how the fillet of fish was introduced because Catholics weren't buying hamburgers on Fridays in a, one specific McDonald's in, Ohio, in a highly Catholic in part area, of, in a very Catholic part of Ohio, and so that led to the introduction. Yeah, no, I'll just be Planet Scum on Twitch and pretend to be just sometimes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, and Bryson can't see what people are saying on Twitch, but assumes they're only saying nice things. You keep assuming. Yes, you Bryson. are the only person watching on YouTube. I <laughs> mostly, we mostly stream to YouTube so that I don't have to uh, upload a whole long video file on Wednesdays because with with the Planet Scum Live, that got annoying. Somebody's phone went off. Was that a notification about Chris Gethard's other show that he's doing tonight? No, it was about. We should plug it though. Sure. Are you? Chris who's Gethard. watching in New Jersey? Yeah, Chris Gethard has <laughs> a show tonight. Uh, he's going to be doing this on the first of every month. No, the first Wednesday. The first Wednesday of, of every, every month. month. It's a New Jersey is the world uh, thing that I don't know more information about i'm they're sorry doing a, i'm like let's announce information an, i don't yeah, know it's it. in asbury park and they're doing a new, a new jersey municipality disaster bingo oh that's fun it also like just started that's really fun it so starts, if you want to check that out check that out it's happening well it's not streamed anywhere it's not streaming no only locals can see it because new jersey's the world Oh. Yeah, no, it's only in person. That breaks my heart. Well, Just a little bit. No, I'm very happy for Chris. I'm very yeah. happy for everyone in Jersey who gets to see that. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> Ollie! <laughs> yeah, Ollie's Ollie now jumped on YouTube. onto YouTube! <laughs> 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 yes, as Dave McDougall says, there is a p- one pound mozzarella stick. Okay, so, like, would you eat? A one pound mozzarella stick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ive is also watching on YouTube now. Oh, hi, Ive. Hi, Ive. Hey, Ive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. A serious Dan saying it sounds like you're asking people to tune out of your show. It would not be the first time that Emily yeah. has actively encouraged people to watch something else other than what we're doing. Well, if there's something better. No, you know what it is? Like when Search Party premiered, you were like, go, go watch Search Party. But it was Search Party. So... Do you remember in what a miracle on Forty Second Street? One of those Christmas 34th movies. Thirty Fourth Street, I think, I believe. One of those Christmas movies where the Santa, who is the actual Santa, and has been, he doesn't know where he is, and he has been hired to work as a mall Santa. And as this mall Santa, but being Santa, someone's like, "Oh, I want this gift, but I can't afford it for my child," and he's like. You know, there's a really great deal right down the street on this. Go right. down the street. Get it for your child. Happy Christmas. And at first, the people running the store are like, how are you turning away business? Right. And then the woman comes back and is like, thank you so much. You have so much integrity as a store. I'm going to tell all of my friends to come here. And they're like, we need to advertise this. And they put a big sign. And they're like, 
We will tell you the cheapest place to get toys for your child because we are good corporation. Corporation, yes. Capitalism, win. Was this the Mara Wilson one? Yes. Okay. No, I have no idea. Oh, it looks like a single walk run is also chatting on YouTube, as is Radio Free Multiverse. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Hey, we're Radio Free Multiverse. Welcome, Welcome to We Are Trash, people. <laughs> so excited to have you here. We do promote you a lot. So that makes sense. I refuse to relieve this stream. Hell yeah, Alice. Hell YouTube, yeah. I like YouTube comments aren't real. I like birds. <laughs> oh, this is the same vibe as being on Facebook, says Jazz Fats and Montgomery. <laughs> if you want, we can also let you watch this on, on Facebook if you want. That's the true multiverse. I just, it's just all the different places. Uh, oh, Bryson wants to show. plug the fact that this Saturday, Dynasty oh. Typewriter has a live stream that you can watch at home. Oh, hell yeah! With Lauren Lapkus and Paul F. Ooh. Tompkins. Damn. What time is that at, Bryson? Yeah. Also, single walk <laughs> run, fluvial? fluvial. Fluvial? I was using my phone, which I love across YouTube and Twitch. It consists like a whole sentence. <laughs> or a whole thought comes through. It's not, not this, Saturday. this Saturday. Well, Bryson, oh. when is it? Bryson, gotta help us out if you want us to keep your you know, cannon. Bryson. <laughs> we don't work at Dynasty Typewriter, Bryson. I mean, if you want to, I'm happy. <laughs> Create jobs that yeah, pay a like, living wage, Bryson. Uh, that I'm, is 100% something you're able to do, I'm right? happy to. I'll work there if, you, if, if I can. That'd be great. Oh, it's it's February twelfth oh, at cool. six p.m. Pacific, seven six from six to seven thirty p.m. Pacific at Dynasty Typewriter, and you can purchase tickets at DynastyTypewriter.com. I do usually do live research. That's true, Bryson. Uh, here we go. Oh, it looks like Single Walk Run has bought a streaming ticket to it. Uh -huh. Here we are on the Dynasty Typewriter website. Let's see. Okay, Lap Lapkiss and Tompkins present a <laughs> smile spreader event streaming live from the Dynasty Typewriter stage. He got so old. His hair is white now. No, it's not. It looks like it's graying. It's, Am I wrong? It's a, it's a black and white image. Oh. Except for the blue? Except for the blue. Okay, okay. Their skin didn't turn gray either. I thought it was just faded. His hair is pretty gray, but it's not. I was like, oh, Lauren no. Lauren Lapkus and Paul F. Tompkins perform a two-person improv set. Oh, that's exciting. For your enjoyment. Yeah, I like Stephen Premel's description of a, of a healthy salt and pepper. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. Also, beautiful city. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ollie. <laughs> Ooh, Has how is it? Castle. Oh, also... I'll only know when it's on if Bryson comments in the Twitch chat. Ooh. So Blogtoven still doesn't know when he it's on. He has no idea. What else is happening at Dynasty? <laughs> <laughs> no, he does still look perfect. I yeah. just thought it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, Chris Red is coming on Tuesday, February fifteenth. Why? Love it or leave I? it was going to happen, but it isn't. We hope you have fun with Ruby Carp Dynasty tonight. World famous with a bunch of people. Johnny Pemberton's Ooh. Minnesota reggae colostomy bag is closing out February. <laughs> and Beth Stelling. Ooh, Beth Stelling is going to be on Dynasty tonight. Hey, That's Bryson, exciting. is that Dynasty tonight? Wait, stream? and Naomi, uh, uh, she, yeah. she's one of the people who is a producer on Search Party. Yes. Her name pops up first with somebody else. No, I'm totally right. Because I, I was like, I know that name. It'll be PFT, Lauren, and like Bryson and two other people in a room together. Which Ollie points out sounds like a threat. Bryson, <laughs> will, will you? Will we be able to hear you laugh? Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, apparently the castle finale is just as terrible Ooh. on rewatch as it was on original Ooh. airing. Uh, I had a friend who watched that. Look at Musique Iconique. Nathan Fillion is cute. We used to watch it when I was in college. We had weekly watch parties oh. for Castle. Well, hey, you know, Bryson, we all got to watch something. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to. Okay. 8 to 9.30. I will promote it then. It's Elliot Glazer's music. <gasps> Iconic. The with Elliot Emancipation Glazer. of Britney. Yeah. Ooh, Hell Bab, yeah. 
Yeah. And Babs Gray and Guy Branham and Nate Sloan and Francesca Ramsey. Okay, that's awesome. $15 can... live stream. Unfortunately, we can't watch it. No. But you can. And then you can. And then hop go to Radio on Free over Multiverse to Radio afterwards. Free Multiverse. Yay! Guy Branham is great. We saw yes. Guy Branham do a comedy show in a comic book store in LA. And Guy awesome. Branham was amazing and had a joke about how cats are like. 1950s housewives that has stuck with me forever and made me a better pet parent. <laughs> <laughs> Except instead of getting their degrees in like economics and being stuck in a house, they got their degrees in murder. He just wants to murder. Yes. Hello, J.D. Smith, digital Hello. artist, and Lindsay Premel. I'm so glad you don't take prisoners. Yeah, J.D. is here to conquer trivia Hell because yeah. they don't take prisoners. But before it's time for trivia, it's time JD, for... J.D., would, would you want a sticker if you won? What? They call it that? Or... That's, like, not the worst idea, though, because I bet it teaches you, like, how to actually do your taxes, right? And, like, how to clean shit. I had to learn how to That's clean true. things from Christian moms on TikTok. That's true. We ju- oh, they don't call it that. Okay. <laughs> I thought they could. It's called homemaking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That should be. It's all these Christian bitches with a bunch of kids on YouTube and on TikTok teaching me how to clean my damn house. Yeah, remember when we learned how to clean our oven finally? Our yeah. Stove top? We learned our, lo- our stovetop lifted up, like, a month ago. And you can clean. We've lived in this house for so long and didn't know how to clean our stove. I didn't know you could do that with any stove. I didn't either. But you know what I do know? What? What time it is. <laughs> your oven texts you? Does it ever text you like you up? Does your oven sext you? <laughs> in the middle of the night. <laughs> like, eh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> they probably wouldn't. Thank you, Brayson. Uh, All the bumpers for this show have explosions now. They do. They do. It texts me when it's pre... Oh, wow. That's, that's cool. That's one smart oven. Ooh, Vanessa Amaro, house cleaner in Texas from Mexico. And you love her. That's amazing. Everyone check this person out. I also I like am. you up. I'm cleaning. <laughs> I'm, I'm dirty. Mm. <laughs> Dirty text from your oven, but it's yep. not time for your oven to send you dirty text. No. It's time for trivia. Tarot. Tri- trivia tarot. It's time for tarot. For tarot. That's right. It's a tarot reading from the beautiful Planet oh. Scum tarot deck created by our very own Stephen Paramel. That's true. Double Threat got StreamYard and spent a whole episode making bumpers. Sorry for <laughs> interrupting. <laughs> That's okay. Let's, let's pull our first card. This is our theme of the week. This is sort of what we can uh, think about this week, going through emotionally, spiritually, mm-hmm. artistically. Mm-hmm. It's always about art. Always about art. It always ends art. up about art on this show. Always. And what is our theme of the week? Yay! I'm a theme! It could be no other than the Keeper. Look at this guy keeping this cannon. This is a beautiful card, and it is based on the sun and me which is my favorite card which is a card of optimism it's a card of joy and success and it's also based on the two of pentacles which is uh, where we get this lovely juggling worlds of the worlds and the two of pentacles is all about balancing the the physical things that we have to do our physical tasks our physical uh, needs, things in the material world. Um, So what this card says to me sort of as our theme is this theme we are going, this week we are going to be thinking about how we can best balance the material aspects of our life in order to give us that glorious, sunshiny success. Because you know who's watching All these goddamn sunflowers, their eyes are on us! And they judge. Sunflowers judge. You didn't know that? They're judgy, but, like, they're bitches. (laughs) They're my favorite flower. Um, Oh. (laughs) Next card. Uh, Let's look at our worst case scenario of the week. Let's look at the worst thing that could happen to us. Oh, that card inspired Ollie to wash makeup brushes. Oh, hell yes. I need to shoo that, too, really bad. (laughs) It's been a while. Would taking the housewife course help me repair my 
camera stand so it stops turning slowly over the course of a show. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, here's here's the stuff that is going to get in our way. These are our stumbling blocks, right? The shit we're going to fall over sitting mm-hmm. in the middle of our house that we haven't picked up yet. The queen. Whoa. Or, you don't yeah. usually see that here. You don't usually see that. This is based on the Empress yes. card. And our queen is the queen of coordination. Look at all those phones. She, in her infinite glory, she looks like she's just sitting in a reclining, but really she is connecting people and things. She's a guide. Yes. She is 100% a guide who can help you figure your shit out, connect you to the people who can help you with those things. And, uh, and this is the Empress. You know, for bring everyone together. It's gold. And I wonder if this is our stumbling block because we are waiting for mm. a queen to tell us what to do and to tell us how to get our lives together. Hmm. You know, we all want a mommy to just tell us what to do. Mm. But but be correct in the things they want us to do. Uh, Hmm. Right? It's the feeling that we need a queen. So this either means we lack a queen. Right. Either within ourselves, we don't have this person who can help us put our lives together, think out all of the things we need to do and create organization for ourselves. Or we're waiting for one. We're relying on one too heavily. Uh, we do all want a mommy, just a mommy to hold us. Yeah, anyone want to adopt a 38-year-old woman? You can't be, can you be adopted if you have a parent but are an adult? Sure. I don't know. Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, don't listen to that particular queen. Save no, the your one cryptos. Who wants her crypto? Yeah. So that's interesting. As our stumbling block, let's look at our worst case scenario of the week. Oh. Oh. And this toy Darian has been the theme of the last two weeks. Yes. This has been popping up a lot recently. And this is based on the devil carb. This is all of the like exciting vices that exist in your life that yes. you like to indulge in healthfully. Look, these people aren't chained. They're, I mean, they have chains on, but they can get they can get in and out of and their this chains. This is the devil card for reference. Lots of people like playing with chains and stuff. Okay, <laughs> and they can get out of it. It's fine. All right, healthy exploration of desires, etc. But this is in our worst case scenario card, and I wonder if this is overindulgence or distraction instead of. Listening to our queen, finding our queen, or mm. taking matters into our own hands, we're still kind of in this waiting period, right. you know? We're in this chained stage, this almost liminal space. I mean, he's just in, in darkness, you know? I'll be pointing out that they like to play chains with their mommy, uh-huh. the people on that card, that is. Uh-huh. Oh, my. Can we just get eyebrows and cards? Oh, yeah. Also. Um, And yeah, so that's that's what's interesting to me. Either we're waiting for a mommy to tell us what to do. We're in this liminal waiting space, just kind of spinning our wheels, doing things that give us pleasure, but perhaps not fulfillment. Um. I just saw what Jess is doing. I'm sorry. What is Jess doing? Twitch fat chat is for continents. Consonants. YouTube is for vowels. <gasps> oh and my god! Here are the missing vowels. Oh! And then O M G. Jess. Goodbye, Bryson. Goodbye, bye, Bryson. Bye, Bryson. Bye, Bryson suggests bye, watching on YouTube Bryson. because apparently it has less of a delay on mobile, which will help you in trivia, which we'll be playing after we finish up with Terra. But let's get back to the reading, shall we? The reading already in progress. We shall. Uh, so let's check out our good side. Let's let's see what we got going for us this week. Our best 
case Yes, Bryson scenario. was watching on YouTube, and so now people are chatting on both platforms. <laughs> uh, tarot like Perot, like a tarot like Perot, like Ross Perot. I don't know who that is. He was a failed presidential candidate who I know from his presence as a character on All That as oh. the beneficiary of Ear Boy, whose ears were really big. Oh, I see. Hence the name. And Ross Perot also had big ears. And oh. it was a topical reference that very quickly became not relevant to children. I see. I see. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. He's a billionaire from Texas. So, yeah. Yup. Was. Uh, all right. Let's look at our best case scenario. The best case scenario this week. This week of keeping. Mm. What's, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. What's okay. the best case scenario for this keeper week? So here's what we got going for us. <laughs> oh, I see what it is. Oh, look at that. Happy's in our Happy. court. Happy's what we got going for us. We're playing with a, with a mule-sized dog. And we're having a great time. Look at yeah. this beautiful landscape. This is based on the Courage card. Uh, the Courage card, which traditionally shows the lady and the lion. Ho -ho. The lady keeping control of the brutish, terrifying lion. Um, and wow, it's interesting. You looked up Courage card tarot. Yeah. And most of the images are not of the the Patty uh, Pixie Smith version, no, which most is the are most iconic cards. sort of yeah. you know version. It's of the, the one deck. that most uh, tarot cards you see are generally riffing on because yeah. they were such a it was such a you know influential Mainstream. mainstreamed deck. But mm -hmm. here's, uh, but yeah, here's the oh, it's the strength card oh, as well strength. That's why. Yeah. There's no courage card. It's just strength. Yeah. What am I thinking? I don't know. <laughs> Friends, okay, so this is the the happy card. And the uh, what I'm sort of taking from this in terms of... Oh, I didn't think you were shaming me. Beautiful city. I liked. I like remembering that his name was Walter the Ear Boy. <laughs> um, what we got here is we've got a big ol' id. Yes. And that's that happy dog. And Mary is keeping on top of it. She's keeping control of it. And I mm -hmm. wonder if this is what we've got going for us is this ability to master and channel mm. our passionate urges to create mm. our sort of like, oh, but I want to do this and this and this and this. And this. Mm -hmm. uh, we need that super ego. Yeah. Chilling out, being like, no. I mean, that's of course not real. The ego, it's super ego. No, um, no, but no, no, not real psychologically. Right. Um, but conceptually. Conceptually, but it's interesting that we have happy across from the queen. The queen is what we have in our way. This is our stumbling mm. block. We don't have a queen, and or we're not listening to our queen, and or we're waiting mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. a queen. Mm -hmm. What we've got going for us might be ourselves. Hmm. This might suggest that we are our own queen. You I know? like that. We have the ability to control that passion, to control that id, to channel it right. into, you know, that which we want to keep. And we have it all there. The question is, like, are we able to tap into that? Perhaps we have a Mary. Hmm. hmm. There for us. Perhaps. Uh so we're looking for a Mary. But let's look let's look at our best case scenario. I'm curious what it will be. This week. Oh, oh the judge again. We have been getting this judge a lot. Look at her. Look how sassy she is. Yeah. Look at that. This is based yeah. on uh the judge not the judgment card. No, judgment is the retired filmmaker card. Yes. Is it justice? Justice. Is there a justice card? Yes. Okay. This is based on the justice card, but look how sassy she is. She uh, knows. She's got the, her scales. The original justice card, much less sassy. She knows what's going on, but she is holding the sword. She is performing actions with this sword. This is not only your own like inner gut judgment, but the ability to act upon that gut judgment. 
we know what we need and we have the ability to act upon it and to pick what is most important in the moment for us. Let's let's look at the whole thing together, see okay. what meaning we get. So our theme of the week is juggling the physical elements of creating our uh, sort of most, mm -hmm. our son, our son, our most fulfilled like goal of the week. Our stumbling block is the queen. Do we have a mentor who can help us? Are we waiting for a mentor to help us that doesn't exist? Um, our thing that we have going for us is happy. I love the gold I on both the of gold. these cards. Yeah. Uh, gold, Stephen Premel worked in uh, to represent the idea of giving something fantastic and wonderful and valuable, but without leaving your taste on it, you know? Because you yeah. can eat gold and it doesn't taste like anything. Um, mm. So nothing, by accepting this help and this value, you aren't muddying your waters, you're not diluting your personal sort of uh, affectation. Um, affectation, <laughs> art, yeah. art. No, that I makes sense. Word. Art. Um, art. So we have these two women, people, uh, sort of on each side. Where we have happy, we have ourselves. Right. We may not have a queen. No. Or we may not be listening to that mm. queen. Or maybe that queen is giving us advice that's best for other people. Like, look at mm -hmm. all these phones. Mm -hmm. Ooh. She might be giving, like, really good, solid advice. It just works best yeah. for someone who's of a different neurotypicality. I like that reading. Than our own. Like, the way that a tip for people who don't have ADHD don't work for people right. with ADHD. And I guess the other way around sometimes? Is that true? Neurotypical people. Oh, none of you are here. They're all... <laughs> We don't know any. <laughs> All right, I was going to say, don't ask me. <laughs> uh, just making stuff. When I have a creative block, that's interesting. Maybe the idea is instead of waiting for inspiration to call us, we should just be playing with a dog. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, Lindsay was asking how people deal with a creative block. I think that that is a really interesting question. And yeah. it's something that I have sort of been thinking about on the daily this past two weeks because mm -hmm. I've noticed myself spending most of the day being like, I am i haven't made anything. I'm a failure. I'm not progressing on my goals. I'm just so uninspired. I'm staring at my tools. I'm staring at my materials and my previous things I'm working on and I have no inspiration. Ah! And then at 11 p.m. I'm like, I have it. I know it. I'm here. I'm good. I'm doing it. And then I'm like up until two, like fucking with shit. Yeah. And I'm like, look at what I have created. Um, blockchain technology. I think, <laughs> uh, like I said in the chat, I usually just try to work on something else and see if mm -hmm. that like helps me. Yeah. Uh, unclog on another idea. And Sirius Dan asks, wow, are you a thespian? A thespian. A thespian. Oh, and I'll answer the way that my grandmother would answer this question. Um, well, you see, I didn't perform in the theater, but my grandmother was in the Mikado. She was in the Mikado. And she she's it's the Gilbert and Sullivan play. And I'm not going to sing it because it's pretty racist. But uh, that sounds like Gilbert and Sullivan. That sounds like them. They were writing in. God knows when. Uh, <laughs> for British people who are colonizers. Oh, uh, that's the way that she would answer things. Like, wow. I speak like a New Yorker because my mother was a New Yorker. And I'm like, you speak like an, a person. Like, you speak like you're from San Francisco. They wrote 14 <laughs> comic operas between seven, 1871 yeah, and 1896. Really but apparently the Mikado <laughs> is good. It is It is one of, it, it is a play that Are I you have Davidson's? very much enjoyed uh, in the past. But it does, it is about people in Japan, like, being Japanese. Uh, Are you David Sims, though? That's what Alice is asking you. Am I David Sims? David! David, David, are you David Sims? And David, do you, do you 
never hate going to the post office. Ring, 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 <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Oh, what's ring. that? What's that? Hello? David? Yes, Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you need Brooklyn and sheets? <laughs> this is a, bu- a bit that we will do for literal, like, yeah. tens of minutes. Because we really like Blake Chuck. <laughs> we'll just be, like, listening to it in the car, and he'll do it. We'll like, Click. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a good show. So these are our stumbling block and thing we have going for us. Maybe what we need to do to really get that juggling down, because that's also something interesting. He's keeping, he looks like he's juggling, but there aren't really motion lines, you know, the way no. that there are in the Pixie Smith deck. So in a sense, it does, this card has a bit of a pause mm-hmm. built into <laughs> it. Even as you're in motion, you're taking a second to pause and like that can feel really scary. And really uncomfortable, especially if your brain is on a roll of creating, but you've run out of, like, the correct juices of inspiration. And you're like, but I must continue creating. Uh, but you have nothing to to create. Right. It can be very scary. Radio Free Multiverse. Thank you. Now let's look at our best and worst case scenarios. Best case scenario is the judge. We are executing upon that which is in our gut. Which we've presumably found by just hanging out and playing with a dog Mm -hmm. for a while. Really communicating with our id will give us the ability to execute upon the judgment of our gut. Worst case scenario, Hmm. we are... Hoping to hear from someone else who may or may not have appropriate advice for us specifically. Uh, And we stay in this liminal waiting space. Right. This sort of spinning our wheels, juggling our balls. And it's not that bad. No. Yo, taking a fucking week to just hang out. Yeah, it's not that bad. And watch stuff and be engaging in vices that are, you know, Mm -hmm. within a healthy range Mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, That can be this. That can be playing with your dog. Right. That can lead to the judgment. I suppose implied within this is that it's vices that don't necessarily like, like, like lead to anything further. But I don't buy that that exists. I think that like people are inspired when they're yeah. inspired and there yeah. isn't like too many behaviors that one can engage in that would like limit that inspiration coming when it does. Mm-hmm. Um, and we, yeah, so that the, the, this is our spread. Let's look, what is our advice? What's yeah. our advice? Oh yeah. We need our advice still. Bryson left, but <laughs> he's still here. The foundation. Is the deck giving the same advice you gave earlier to go watch something else? Go watch something else. Sit in your grand old chair. Hold your little globe and your your staff. And this is based on the emperor card. Yes. Um, But this is the foundation. This is the patriarch without the patriarchy. And I think that that's so interesting that he popped up with the queen. Interesting. Yeah. Because the emperor and the empress. Yeah. If the queen is our Hmm. stumbling block, Mm -hmm. if this waiting for nurturing, this reliance on outside nurturance uh, is is a stumbling block, then perhaps our advice is to what are our foundations? What do we always come back to in Mm -hmm. our art practice, in Hmm. our lives, in our exercise, in our interests? Hmm. Uh, Noticing, for example... uh, for a long time, I, like, didn't do the things that I loved doing in middle and high school. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, I'm an adult now. I'm an adult, <laughs> and I only do things that generate capital because that's the highest good. Uh, <laughs> oh. Because that's what happens when you're raised in this fucking society. They feed it to you. They spoon feed it to you spoon. with the shit. Instead of a spoonful of sugar, it's a spoonful of shame. So going back to those behaviors, the things that have worked for you in the past Mm -hmm. might work for you. Working on your fundamentals. 
perhaps taking time to be like, you know what, I'm gonna. We did lose a villa viewer after all that whispering. After all that whispering, they're just not into ASMR. It does the opposite. We didn't put the ASMR tag on. No, we didn't. So they didn't. Oh, they're back. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. (laughs) Um, Whispering is done. So that's interesting with this. In order to appropriately juggle Mm -hmm. the physical stuff we've got going on on in order to utilize it in the way that we most want to, um, we got to concentrate a little bit on our foundations. Maybe that means self-care. Maybe that means like this week, I'm not going to be making any fucking art. I'm going to be cleaning my house. Uh, Left work. Today, I told my boss I was going home to rethink my life. I'm sorry you had to leave and pull an Elon sleaze bag. He just out. laughed at you? Oh, that's bad. Fuck that guy. That's like the scene in The Matrix. Right? The new one where Trinity's like, I looked at the game and I saw myself and I told my husband and he laughed yeah, at me? Yeah, that was bad. That's bad. Don't laugh at people when they confide in you. Right? Right? That's my uh, tip. But yeah. And I think that's where the foundation it comes in. You know? Think oh. about your life. She, 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 she. Oh. And you're she being still sarcastic. Well, she still that's funny laugh then. That's well, if funny, she laughed then. at a thing that was impl- that that's meant true. to be a joke. Then it is funny. Then it is funny. Then I don't feel bad so. about the Elon Sleaze Bag and O comparison. But even so, realizing like, look, in order to make art on this desk, I actually need to clean up this desk Mm. because there are too many stamps. Mm -hmm. I have ink pads everywhere. Mm -hmm. Do they have their lids on? No. (laughs) No. Who the fuck do you think I am? (laughs) Those paintbrushes, I don't know how long they've been wet. In fact, they're dry now. And so I'm like, oh, I want to do something, but all these things are in the way. You got to rethink, like, okay, maybe I got to clean up my desk. Maybe I got to clean up my house. Maybe I need to spend time thinking about the self-care that I need and realize that that in itself is a tool towards art. Your body is an art tool. And we do our best to take care of our tools uh, yeah. so that we can keep making the art. Um Tiro! Yay! Yay, Tiro! 46 minutes of Tiro! We did it! That's what happens when Chris Gethard has a live show. Oh, yeah, and J.D. Smith, digital artist. Uh, Elon Slees Bagano is the death stick dealer from Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, mm-hmm. who gets Jedi mind-tricked by Obi-Wan mm. to go home and rethink his life. There we go. No, that's Darth Vader, who is a whole different character. <laughs> that's not what happens to Elon Slees Bagano when he goes and rethinks his life. He doesn't become Darth Vader. That was a good Tarot, like Perot, says Stephen Prammel. Thank you so much. And you know, earlier you brought up liminal spaces that yes. you wait in. And yes. if you want to go to a liminal space right now, it's time for trivia where you can play <laughs> by going to Kahoot.it or using the Kahoot app and entering room code 5044580. I realize, oh yeah, and Elon is Mouse from the Matrix. Oh, sick! Yes, but I'll be right back because I have to get my iPad to show my me the oh, answers to so our trivia. So that you will know uh, the answers. The ans- Do you need to know the answers? There's fun facts hidden in them. So oh, yeah. you, he needs the fun facts. He needs give him the car facts. Just give him the, those car facts, not the car fox. The facts of life. The car facts of life. You are not permitted. To see Star Wars films in, until four or five years old. That's fair. It's also fair there, not to remember. There's a lot of violence in well, those movies. I, a child under four years like might get freaked out. It's also fair not to remember Elon Slees Bagano. Yeah, I only know him because his name is Elon Slees Bagano and yeah. Forrest talks better all the time. I do. He's a very minor character in the grand scheme of things. He's no Rick Ollier, but he's... Well, he's... He's... We got single He's more walk minor run. than Rick Ollier. <laughs> we got single walk run. No vowels. We got Blizzard Fadson. Stephen Pramu. No vowels. Blizzard. Good luck with that Blizzard, by the way. And pineapple, 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 pineapple. 
and goo. That's and right. Goo. I'm pineapple. I'm playing right along with y'all. And guess what? If the winner messages me their address, I will send you something for winning. Something. Something will get sent. Something. Something will get sent. Will get to sent you. to you. Oh, uh, it's Horror Jedi F. Hashtag sixty nine. A fantastic Horror Jedi franchise owner. Absolutely. Welcome. Beautiful tired city. Oh, I feel that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, a serious Dan is on the. Their phone cannot watch and what? so just let us know how you're doing. You don't want my toenails. Scouts honor. You don't want my toenails. What? I'm so ridiculous. I was about to ask, do you have toenails? And what I meant is, I've rarely ever seen you take care of them. No, I don't. I, I clip uh, them sometimes. I don't. I don't. Ford Jet Ideals is here, which was a great. That was a great tweet from Jas Fats in Montgomery. You know what, Jas? Is, is it cool if I Buddy. share your tweet? Um, because it was you. You were correct. That it's a narrow tweet. Okay, yes. Jas Fats in Montgomery had a great tweet that was relatively narrow, but I feel like this is the audience <laughs> that will get it. Oh, what were you going to say, Emily? I'm just realizing that if someone showed me a picture of your feet and uh, was like, or a bunch of feet and was like, identify for us, I would not. Of course not. I don't know what your fucking feet look like. Uh, uh, <laughs> they look like feet. I don't know. My, to to my, be my big toes aren't, aren't symmetrical. I could probably pick out my cousin's feet because. Because I broke my big toe. I broke one of my big toes jumping off a couch with a lightsaber. And so my big toes look different. Good to know. But yeah, Jazz Fadson tweeted, this is an exceptionally <gasps> narrow tweet, but Ford Jedi underscore deal. I think this character tries to get people good lease deals <laughs> on big old trucks during February on Truck Planet. <laughs> and then don't, CBC 9000, this tweet is for me. I need this service. Warning, these deals will not work at Toydarian truck lots. I love Such that. Such a good tweet. I love that. I just remembered the story of uh the beginning story of ragnarok where someone had to a god had to pick out a spouse a male spouse uh from behind a curtain and all she could see was their feet and so she wanted to pick out the person with the prettiest feet and she picked balder and then he died and then some christian wrote a story about how the vikings were just waiting for him to come back from the dead to cause Ragnarok and you know he was sacrificed in this really special way and he wants to get us into oh no it's Christianity <laughs> alright let's play some <laughs> for trivia. Jedi Ideals is here and you can still join while we play by going to Kahoot.it or using the Kahoot app that's fun Premel and entering the room code but here we go well someone just left but that's okay they can Goodbye. rejoin here comes our Hello. first there we go the rabbit is back rabbits as we go house. to question number one in three two one which planet scum live guest plays oh. sarah connor on joe para talks with you i forgot to italicize that is that Aparna Nacherla, Joe Firestone, Liza Traeger, or Meg Stalter? It takes place in Michigan, so seen here is Michigan. Oh, it takes it's place the in, the, in the UP. Easy says the serious Dan, and it's so good Easy. that that's the character's name. Says Stephen right? Premel, which I agree. Great Brilliant. name. Brilliant. This person, this character, is a bit of a survivalist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have a lot of anxiety about the imminently ending world because it, because of course yeah. that show takes place in 2018 but the correct answer is joe firestone eight of you got it right she also is credited as writer on six episodes of joe para talks with you <laughs> with you well you're playing with you joe. on the leaderboard we're stephen premles in first or jedi Woo. f sharp 69 in second f sharp <laughs> <laughs> Single walk run in third, goo in fourth, and pineapples, you're tied for fifth with goo. Oh. Goo, 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 goo. Goo, 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 goo. What goo. looks left over when you make a girl gizmo? It's goo. Why don't get a question number two now? What rhymes with goo? Two. It's time for question Ain't number Ain't nobody two. checking for me with Rachel Jarowski and Cody Wilkins is making his Planet Scum debut this Saturday. Which CGP character did Rachel play? As a fun, as a little hint, if you watched the recent Saturday Not Live this week, 
You saw them. You Ooh, saw did we all Rachel's say it together? Character. Did everyone say Joe Firestone no, together? No, uh, it looks like I only see the from a serious stand. Mm. No one. Gosh. Sixty, you knew it. it. It's together. Daddy Suave on Rachel Pegram's Elegance Hour. Cassidy Bean was played by Devin Bockrath on The Great Night Show 3. Carmen's mom was played by Annie Donnelly on The First Great Night Show. And Doorknob the Puppet <laughs> was played by Branson Reese on Chemistry Class with Joe Rumrill and Rachel Pegram. Hell yeah. Daddy Suave. I love Daddy Suave. You feel me, baby? You feel me, baby? Feel me, baby? Let's see who's feeling being in first place on the leaderboard. You're up oh. at the third. Premo holding on to first. Single walk run 26 points behind, but Blog Tovin and Forge Ideal is closing up the leaderboard. I want those deals. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. I love that. I love that I beautiful love that. city. I love that so much. Just like I love our next question. Question number three. Which Chris Gethard presents and Planet Scum host is a voice actor on oh. Adult Swim's Teenage Euthanasia. Is that Christy Cello, Connor Ratliff, Martin Urbano, or Mary Houlihan? How do I not know this? I don't know because we talked about it extensively <laughs> when it happened. J.D. Smith votes Mary Houlihan. You but know, the correct answer is Christy Cello. Damn it! I was in between that and Mary Houlihan. I picked Mary Houlihan, and I'm I was wrong. Christy's was on wrong. one episode, so it's fair enough. But Christy plays Shelly number two, the Shirts Donut computer, and oh, Mrs. Yeah. Reynolds. Shirts Donut. It's a great computer. Yes, everyone check out Teenage yeah, Euthanasia. It's, show. it's on HBO Max. Joe Firestone. Yes, Joe is Firestone's part the of the lead. main cast. Yeah, she's the lead, isn't yeah. Um, Maria and it's Bamford. designed by Abby Jame. Yeah, Abby uh, Jame. Who's a great artist. Yes. And we showed off their like lizard daddies. Yeah, lizard daddies scene. is great. All the all, <laughs> all, all, all the, and a lot of Abby Jame stuff is also on Hoopla, the library app as comics that you can read on online. Uh, and it's a fantastic show, says Lindsay Premel. Stephen Premel says it's wild and I love it. And Jess Fadson Montgomery is talking about the snow with Ollie. Good wishes to everyone having to deal Bundle with that storm up. right now. Ooh, is there a storm? There's a big storm across like a third of the U.S., I think. Oh, yeah. no. Yes, I love Christy's, living in California. Christie's new hair is great. If anyone's house get blow gets blown away, uh, you're welcome in my grandmother's basement. <laughs> but Christy's new hair is wonderful. Yeah. Check it out on Instagram. Oh, it's so awesome. That she dyed, dyed part of her hair. It's really it's cool. It's awesome. You know what else is awesome? What? Our leaderboard. <gasps> oh, where pineapple I'm just fell off away. it completely. Blocked open in third. Horde Jedi F sharp 69 in fourth. Yes. And if you can, I agree with Lena. If you can get Hoopla and Canopy from your local library, use them. I For read. Free. All sorts of comics. That's where I read all my comics, basically. Free oh, and comics. a lot of the Silver Sprocket stuff is actually up on Hoopla Free as well. So you can read uh, some of the things the that we recommend here on We Are Trash People for free through that app. No vowels on the podium! No vowels on the podium. Our no vowels gang are in one, two, and three. Yeah, Ollie, don't go outside. <laughs> we don't. Yeah. We don't need, a f like, an Ollie pop. Right? <laughs> no. no. We don't need frozen. We don't like need calling... to like thaw you out with a fucking hair dryer like a cartoon. Ooh. Like don't Oh yeah, they also have audiobooks. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, mm -hmm. Earth Sea is great. Read all of Ursula K. Le Guin's stuff. She deals with uh in some stories like a lot of heavy topics. Mm -hmm. Related to colonialism and sexism, mm -hmm. etc. But they're all really good. And yeah. she's always portraying really interesting worlds and really interesting ways that humans can relate to each other mm. um, in terms of how we build our relationships. Yeah, like Austin exactly Powers. Exactly like Austin Powers. Yeah, you can download exactly. audiobooks for three weeks with Hoopla. <laughs> but you know what isn't on Hoopla? What? The subject of our next question. <gasps> Here we go. It's a multi-select, so be sure to confirm your answers after you lock them in. Which of these are the names of the new friends huh? Jersey Dave introduced during the last GLTS? Da, Gizmatl, Gizmodo, and Yo Gizmo. Is this a multi-select? Yes, two of them are right. Crap. 
Da Gizmatel Gizmodo and Yo Gizmo. Seen here is R2D2, famed Star Wars character. I think I got it right. I think I got it right. It's oh, Yo Gizmo right. and Da, JD Smith, digital artist. You would have gotten it right. Stephen Prammel's the only one. Who I went all, all in. Four. That's right. And after we look at this, I mean, it's not a bad attempt. Oh, that's right. It's not a bad attempt. Da and Yo Gizmo combine Yoda and Gro Gizmo. Uh, Gizmatl is the combination I invented of Gizmo and Yaddle, <laughs> while Gizmodo is a tech blog. Congratulations, a serious Dan. Yeah, congratulations, serious Dan has aced everything so far. Single walk oh. run, you're now in first. Blog Tovin in second. Horde Jedi, F Sharp 69 in third. Blizzard Fats in 60, 61 Damn, 60 points that behind. Knocked Stephen Premo right off the board. Yeah, that should have been your clue, because you go to Gizmodo, and Single Walk Run has a streak with four correct answers in a row so far. We're Scout's almost honor. halfway through, but you Damn, can still join the in. Girl Scout thing hurts now. You can still join in by going to Kahoot.it or using the Kahoot app and entering our room code, which of course is 5044580. I promise to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, courageous and caring... And to live by the Girl Scout law. Girl Scouts are awesome. The blizzard was supposed to be 12 inches, but is really 3 to 5 inches. A lie told by many men, says Jazz Fats in Montgomery. Girl Scouts are letting boys in now, too. I think so, yeah. Just because they're like, Sounds yeah, a lot better. we're like a really actually like uh, welcoming space. I would uh, much rather have be a Girl Scout <laughs> than a Boy Scout. Like, are you gay? Come. Come to us. <laughs> Are you not? Oh God. Girl Scouts are great. Girl Scouts are great. It's a much, it's a much better organization. Girl Scouts no longer taste good. I'm not that surprised because when we left the Girl Scouts, they were introducing charm bracelets um, as a way to like oh, yeah. collect patches, which I thought was yes, yes. Buy Girl Scout cookies from Trans Scouts. Absolutely. There's yes. resources you can find online. Uh, oh, they're troops. still fine. But yeah. Yeah. I also still like them. I still like Thin Mints. I really liked Samoas. I'm allergic to coconut now. I, I did love, really like them. I love I love Thin Mints so much. Yeah. Th frozen Thin Mints. That's or what I mean. Else. I always freeze the Thin Mints. But that's true, actually. Offbeat Valerie makes a great point. There's the two different bakeries. Oh. The West Coast and East Coast have generalizing, but have different West bakeries. West Coast, Best Coast. Sorry. Sorry about that. Well, but no, but Premel and Alice would be getting from probably the same bakery. Like it's probably yes, from our bakery. There are also gluten. Gluten. That's true. That's true. That's true. Right. It's such a bummer. Uh, but you know what? That's okay. You know what's not <laughs> what? a bummer? Our next question. <gasps> oh wait, no. Oh! First, we get to look at Yo Gizmo. Yo Gizmo. He's so and cute. Da. I just love Da. I love the Yoda that, that he chose for Da. <laughs> I love his creepy little hands. Oh, the bakeries are weirdly distributed. It's not an even line between oh. like West Coast and East Coast. Okay. I know, right? Spending so much fucking cash. Uh, we used to spend a lot of money on cookies when I was a Girl Scout. I did when my old coworker brought a suitcase full of Girl Scout cookie boxes with his daughter and sold them. That's smart. Yeah, it was very we smart. sold them outside the like a Borders books. Mm -hmm. And one time, this fucking woman came and it just started like bitching like three little girls, like three little Girl Scouts, mm -hmm. ten years old, out for the actions of Boy Scouts of America. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you know, Boy Scout, like the Scouts are bad. Like this was when they were doing their whole like, we don't want to gay Scout masters. We only want creeps who say that they're straight um and we're like yeah i'm pretty sure juliet lowe was was she gay as fuck who juliet lowe she had many scouts and many had scouts had juliet lowe i'm one of them you may not be but let me show you what to do left arm juliet lowe had many scouts and many scouts had Juliet Low. She's she's the founder oh, thank you. of the Girl Scouts because she was like, girls can go outside and do stuff. 
Fuck Here's you. Da. And you know, speaking of... Actually, no, let's let you look that up first before we move on to the next question, because you're going to be Juliet answering. Juliette Gordon-Lowe. I, I do agree. Was the Amer she looks... <laughs> Da Maybe is, just because she's, you know. Da is, is quite creepy. Uh, I love Da's face, but. 1911. <laughs> um, Emily? Yes? Apparently you raised your right arm. <laughs> that was a very common issue uh, that I also had. Oh, and that's the song Father Abraham? Oh, no. She married some dude. That doesn't. That's fine. No. Oh, well. <laughs> they were separated uh huh? three years oh oh no, no 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 they started dating then she went to europe learned bareback riding shorthand and hunting Ooh. and then she married him so that i don't know okay oh Ooh, she painted, learned woodworking and metalworking. Did she get he a patch for that? He couldn't have kids. Oh, and then they separated uh, because she didn't have much time alone with him. Um, oh, he had an affair. Yeah. yeah, I see what you mean, Ollie Garden. You're right, that is the same song. Oh, and she didn't want to name the person that he was having an affair with because he did, she didn't want to, like, wreck that person's reputation. That makes sense. Even though that was necessary to be granted a divorce. Oof. Um, Oof. They divorced. Okay. Oh, my God. This divorce proceeding, like, took forever. Oh, and then he fucking died before they were able to officially divorce. Oh, weird. Um, I don't think there's going to be the answer you want on that. I just want to know if she was bi. <laughs> I don't think... They probably just didn't even record it. I mean, this no, This was like 1911. Wouldn't. Yeah. I just want that to be true. Maybe it is. I just want... I just want, like, this, like, badass... Speaking of lady. truth and concepts of facts... Oh, yeah, does it say she had many female friends, says Jess Betts in Montgomery? Mm. Mm. And she didn't spend much time with her husband. It's true. Um, Who knows what lurks in the hearts oh, of men? Says the serious Dan. Buried in oh. her Girl Scout uniform. Did she have roommates? Mm, she probably had roommates. I think the problem is, is that they she and her husband were divorced, anywhere. or she was like going through this divorce right. uh, until 1923. Yeah, and then she died in 1925. Oh, wow. So she really didn't have... And she was very sick. She had yeah. breast cancer. Um, so she didn't really have... Right. Oh, she was 66. She had plenty of time to fuck girls. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> I, 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 you're not wrong. It was just... I didn't expect that to be what you said. when You're like, oh, she was 66. But you know what? I think it's time to move on to the next question. I wanted to understand more about Juliet Lowe. Yeah, Ollie's correct. This really took a turn. Juliet Lowe? Juliet Lowe had many scouts. And many scouts had Juliet Lowe. I am one of them. And so are you. So let me tell you what to do. She just, she just like was really cool. It doesn't seem like there's any clear. Yeah, I don't think there's any clear yeah. information. I do know that the Girl Scouts as an organization right. are very pro gay rights and uh, actively have actively rejected, uh, you know, yeah. an attempt to make them like uh, the Boy Scouts. Yeah, a homophobic, transphobic nonsense. Like, yeah. well, that's good. They they will not. No, they're much. That's why they're much better bullshit. than the Boy Scouts. Um, but I think we should move on to the next question. I yeah. wanna know. Okay, okay, well here you go. Here comes your next question. <laughs> True or false? WWE Hall of Famer Trish Stratus was a guest on Planet Scum Live. Is that true or false? <gasps> oh, reconnected. Okay. <laughs> 
thought I was going to lose all of my game progress. JD Smith did um, artist guess is incorrect, which is true. It's incorrect. It's false. Oh, damn. Lita, WWE Hall of uh, Famer Lita, was a guest oh, on Planet Scum Live and appeared on Sandwich Night 10. And one of her, like, iconic matches was against Trish Stratus, but Trish oh, has not been yeah, on Planet Scum Live. Yeah. Forrest, mm, are you being a little tricksy? That was tricksy. Are you being a little scamp? That was tricksy. Are you a little scamp? I was being a scamp with that. You two of you got it right. Let's see scamp. which two. Look at this scamp. Single Walk Run did, but the other person who got it right is not currently on the leaderboard, Ooh, so they remain a mystery, a mystery to us. Why don't we move on? A little sneak. A little sneaky. I was being a little sneaky. A little Why don't we sneak on over to our next question? <laughs> Which GLTS guest voices Ruby on Steven Universe? Charlie, Mary Holland, one. Monique Moses, or Sarah Nadachenny? Seen here is a Ruby, the gem. Guess what? We just rewatched. Guess what? We just rewatched. <laughs> After watching for the first time. Yeah. We've been watching Steven Universe Future again. Ruby has scouts. True. She has scouts. She does like scout things. Also, They're as a hint. They're basically Girl Scouts. This guest also voices all of them Navy, Leggy. <laughs> All of Every the single Ruby. It's Charlene Yee who appeared on GLTS episode 28, Pretend It's American Graffiti. Just if you can look yeah. up any of the scenes with multiple rubies in them, because it's the cutest goddamn thing. Oh, you haven't finished Steven Ooh, Universe Future. Steven it's Universe good. Future is very good. I also recently played the iOS app uh -huh. of Steven Universe, which is set between the original and Steven Universe Future. I know, right? That's fair, Steven. Right. Steven! Steven! Why don't we go to the leaderboard to see who knew it was Charlene's me. Ruby. I was one. Pineapple's <gasps> all back on the leaderboard and in third. Or did I have sharp 69? You're in fourth, Stephen Bremel. Back on the You're leaderboard. You're back on leaderboard in fifth, but single walk run and bold are still in first and second. Ruby and Sapphire are very cute. They it's true. combine to form an individual called Garnet. Who, who is that? Forrest's favorite character? Mine yeah, too. Garnet's so good. I love Garnet. Suspicious. Suspicious, says a serious Dan. Let's see if suspicious. our next question is just as suspicious. Here we go. Nathan Min played 24 Carat in oh. Elegance Hour. He's also a cast member on which show? Joe Perry talks with you, Search mm. Party Southside or Steven Universe? Which of these shows is Nathan Min on? Is it. Seen here it is, wasn't multi-select, right? No, this is not a multi-select. <laughs> Seen here is gold because he played 24 Carat, who is dipped in gold every single birthday he has, which is why over on the Discord, we call birthdays gold dip days. It's a gold dip day. It's a gold dip day. Mm. It's Joe Perry Talks With You. He plays John, the science teacher, and he also is credited with writing two episodes. Of Joe Paradox with you. Let's go to the leaderboard to see who got that right. Blogged up and back in first. Single walk run in second. Pineapple holding strong yeah. in third. The rest of the leaderboard also remaining static. It doesn't seem like anyone has particularly long streaks right now, which I suppose makes sense. But why don't we see if someone can build a streak with our next question? Here we go. What was oh. the name of Robbie Hoffman's 2019 comedy special? Dyke Vice, I'm Nervous, It's Not Nothing, or Rivka. Comedy is the image. Comedy. Comedy. This is amazing. I've been right about wow. everything answered faster than everyone else says a serious Dan. Dan. A serious Congratulations. Dan. A serious Dan. If you win, uh, mm. send me your address Steve, and you well, might get not something for winning. Kahoot, yeah, but, but they, if they still true. win, Stephen Premel, Scout's Honor. Stephen Premel knew it, but panicked and <gasps> selected the wrong answer. No. So knew it was Joe Parra talks with you, but chose something else. On this show, we don't enjoy your suffering. No, yeah, yeah. It was for suffering. the previous question. Yeah. In this show, 1600 we... Pennsylvania Avenue is a serious Dan's address, so... Oh, perfect. Perfect. I will send my nonsense there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They will appreciate said nonsense. Yeah, they will definitely love it. Yeah. Photo paper coated in multiple layers J. of Smith triple thick spray. Thinks it's Rivka. Is it Rivka? Yanked through a sticker machine for children. Six of you got it right. The correct answer is I'm nervous. Yeah. Dyke Feist was the original name of Robbie Hoffman Consulting Group, and Rivka is the name of her comedy, which is in the works at Showtime. Last anyone heard. Ooh. 
based on all those deadline articles. It's not nothing. Hi, it's that's just your catchphrase. One of her many catchphrases, of course. It's not nothing, and you know what? Neither are you. Oh. I, word was that it was going to be a series. Right. Uh, yeah. A show. Word was that it's like a TV show yeah. written narrative about her life. There's a lot of shows where comedian goes to hometown yeah. and deals. Like, Though I don't know if I've this is... I've enjoyed most of them. I don't know if this is her going back to her hometown One or... One Mississippi... Uh huh. Some what is it? Somebody somewhere. Somebody somewhere. Or somewhere somehow. Uh, with uh, yeah, I uh, uh, with Bridget Everett. Bridget Everett and um, one of the members of Rat Scraps. Oh, and the one with the person who somebody somewhere. Thank you. Somebody yes. somewhere, and it's the person who has the great haircut. They have they have like a, oh. a bleached blonde haircut. Oh yeah, Jeff Hiller is the member of oh. thank you, Offy Valerie is the member of Rat Scraps who's on that. No, it's 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 What show is that? The tall one who always plays a lady. They are Um Rat Scraps He does sometimes play a lady. Uh but no, I know you I'm not ginger. I know. The tall ginger guy. Yes. Oh boy, what is that Netflix? I know. Now I'm like going mad. It was a Netflix show. The comedian uh, is a very slight person. What is their is, name? Uh, NB. Feel good. Feel good. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. An NB lesbian. Yeah, they're an NB uh, lesbian, and their name is Mae Martin. Yeah, it's and really it's good. called Feel Good. It's a British comedy thing. It's created by Mae Martin and Joe Hampson, which was a very good. Yeah, Feel Good is a great show. Yeah, and it's a semi-autobiographical romantic comedy where Mae Martin plays themselves, and Charlotte Ritchie plays Mae's girlfriend George. Yeah, it's it's and in really the U.S. Cute. it's on Netflix. It was very good. Um, and I've never seen another show where gender, where like the main yeah. character has that kind of like oh. gender experience. Bye, JD. Bye, JD. Um, so it it filled my heart. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I loved it. It was very good. The gender stuff was very good. Um, and yeah, it's wonderful. And Anthony Stewart Head is in it as George's father. Bye, JD. Sort of. Oh, cool. Go on check HBO that out. HBO Max. It's on the we Max. We're Max and Eastas now. For a new so. Show. Yeah. Yeah, because we just finished the White Lotus. Until we like go through all of the good things on HBO, cancel that subscription and get a Hulu su- yeah, subscription. Yeah, we're, we're making our way through them one at a time. <laughs> uh, cool. I'll, I just Hell took yeah. a note. We'll check out, sort of. And you know, I'm nervous though to see the leaderboard, but <gasps> I think we have to rip off that bandaid. We're playing out those now in first. In first. Blog Tovin in second. Single walk down in third. I can't win. I can't send myself I mean, you something. Can. Oh. I White did, Lotus. I did like. Stephen Promel says White Lotus was phenomenal. It would have been even better if something had actually happened, though. Yeah. There was Way. like. <laughs> Way sus says a serious Ooh, Dan. Am I cheating? Or Let's all see. of the questions just based on the things well, we've both been watching? We've got two yeah. more, and I think these might cause pineapple some okay. problems. <laughs> so let's go to question number nine. Because even when we do talk about things, the hosts I'll of which forget. podcast joined George Watto and Pat the Hat on the oh. most recent episode of the George Lucas Talk Show? Doughboys, Good Christian Fun, Podcast the Ride, oh, or Stradio Lab? I know it's. Mm, I know some of them that are it aren't. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. it not. Eight of you got it oh, right. Got it's it right. podcast the ride. I got it right. Specifically, they were joined by Mike Carlson, Jason Sheridan, and Scott Gardner. That's fair, a serious fan. <laughs> so you would technically win. Yes, you would above win the me. non-Kahoot game that you two are. Well, yeah. you're also on Kahoot. But here we go. Let's go to leaderboard. Ish pineapple still in first. Yes. Oh. Close. Oh my gosh! Blog Very Toven. close, Blogtoven. And Blizzard Fadson now in fifth. that away from me. I mean, they might, because they very well might. Because I that this next one off. is not based on anything we've watched recently. The last one, I guessed. <laughs> so here we go. Last question: Which Marvel superhero teamed up with Saturday Night Live's Not Ready for Primetime Players in a 1974 comic? Captain America, Iron Man, Spider Man, or Wonder Man? Wow. Which Marvel superhero teamed up with the not ready for primetime players in a 1974 comic? 
1974. All of these characters existed in 1974. And Saturday Night Live is a very New York thing. I mean, that doesn't, it's Marvel. That doesn't, Everything's that doesn't help. Everyone's in New York. New York. Well, I guess Spider-Man. It's not the West Coast <laughs> Avengers. Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, PTR yeah. podcast, the ride. Oh yeah. They yeah, were great. They were great. I loved the captain EO references. Cause that like scared the hell out of me <laughs> when I was a kid. It, the evil queen scared me so much. I took my 3d glasses off. Oh, little forest. Spooked. Yeah. It was weird when the West coast Avengers showed up in studio 60, but had no lines. Oh, I was right. Yeah. It was Spider-Man. Did they turn off the dark? Because Marvel Team Up was always Spider Man. Every issue uh, of Marvel Team Up was Spider Man. It was Spider Man teaming up with some other hero. And <laughs> the Avengers went on Letterman, <laughs> as we talked about last trivia. Garrett Morris was in the comic where Spider Man crosses over. Who's Wonder that? Man, who was a member of the SNL cast. Oh. Wonder Man was the trick answer because Wonder Man was also an actor. <laughs> Wow. So the specific, we'll go to the cover. Okay. I love it. Marvel Beautiful. team up. Is Spider that a Man. Belushi? Yeah, but it's, it's a Belushi because that was one of his recurring <gasps> things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You told me about was that. Was as a samurai. Ooh. And Belushi, Ooh. and he says, no, but also look, it's Spider Man, Stan Lee, and NBC in the corner thing. And that's funny. This <laughs> is bad. No, Belushi deserves to be called out for this. Um, <laughs> and it's. Okay, so that's the thing. You're from Silver Samurai's point of view. And Yeah, where is yeah. Anthony Michael Hall? I know who that is. Do well, I? Well, this wasn't Do the I Anthony Michael Hall is? years. It oh, is okay. no, it's bad that he played a samurai. That is bad. I'm not let me first point out that was bad. It is bad. Like SNL was bad. Has been bad for was bad and was kind of racist. That was it was very racist the Belushi played a samurai. What? I was just going to see how much, how much more you would go. <laughs> it gets worse. Um, in the comics, Stan Lee is hosting Saturday Night Live. Oh. When John Belushi receives a teleportation ring meant for someone named J.B. Lushi, <laughs> the silver silver samurai, who also works in Rockefeller Center in the year of the comic, or in the world of the comic, the silver samurai attacks to retrieve the ring, but they're defeated by Spider-Man and the cast, though he does ultimately escape with the ring and it pops up later. And Marvel can no longer publish this comic because they don't have the rights to the SNL cast. That's funny. So it's excluded from all future uh, publishing. Oh, and Iron Man was on it, too. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. was an actual cast member on SNL during the Ebersol years. You're right. He was just Robert Downey at the time. Oh. And Dan looks hot as always, says Ollie Garden. Wait, but then who's Robert Downey? His father, who's an actor, who was an actor. Okay. He, his father is Robert Downey. No, the Sherry Terry went... was not there. Neither was Joe Piscopo. Uh, Will Ferrell, also not there. Chris Gethard didn't write when this on the show when this happened. He wrote on SNL? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sarah Squirm, not in this comic either, unfortunately. Uh, A.D. Bryant, not in it. Uh, Chris Parnell, not in it. But why don't we go to the... Let's see who won. In third place, with 7 out of 10 correct, it is Horror Jedi F-Sharp 69. Woo! In second place, with 8 out of 10 correct, it's Pineapple. Woo! In first place, with 8 out of 10 correct, it is... Blog Toven! In fourth, Woo! single walk run, and in fifth, Blizzard Fadson Montgomery. I think. Hell yes! Yes, Hell congratulations, yes. Blog Toven. Congratulations. Um, probably, yeah. Early SNL doesn't age well. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. But Jane Curtin, very funny. Yes, I Blog love... Toven. You want that stuff? Send me your address. I will send you stuff. Yeah, send send Emily your address, and the back half really did in single walk run. I, I got way better in the back half. Yeah. Well, because that was when it became things we've watched in the past <laughs> couple weeks because I don't have enough banked questions. Putney Swoop. What's Putney Swoop? A good movie with Robert Downey in it. Which apparently. Robert Downey? Not Junior. See, there's a BoJack Horseman joke. Oh. That's that where he's like, I did blah, blah, blah with oh, Robert yeah. Downey. And they're like, 
do you don't you mean Robert Downey Jr.? And he's like, if I had meant if Robert I meant Downey junior, Jr., I would have said Jr. I would have said Robert Downey Jr. I would have said junior. Jr. Oh, have you heard about the show where <laughs> Will Arnett is like doing a murder mystery and the his his, his like partner is a celebrity who has to come on and oh. has no script? Yeah. And that just has looks to riff fun. with it. That looks fun. Like a half improvised. It's apparently an adaptation of another. Yeah, it's based on a UK ah. show. Ah. And I heard the UK show has more interesting, more interesting assortment of partners because it's not just like here's great <laughs> improvisers bringing their A game. <laughs> and Marshawn Lynch. A serious Dan. Very noble Thank of you. you. Very noble of you. Scouts Honor has been, uh, mm. your Scouts Honor is recognized, mm-hmm. and you have upheld it. Absolutely scouts Honor have. has been upheld in honor of Juliet Lowe, who had many female friends, mm. but whose sexuality cannot be confirmed. However, the anti-homophobia of her organization can be confirmed. Blog Tovin like seeing R2-D2 behind us. Where's R2? Oh, there's R2! <laughs> Wait, what's inside R2? I you forget. You packed R2 at one point, but I don't remember what's in there. I was going to send it to, like, my cousins. Yeah. So here's R2, and inside of R2 it... Oh, oh, a bunch of crap! A bunch of patches and stuff. We got... This says Gizmonics on it. So that's, those are Mystery Science Theater 3000 oh. patches. My friend, Meld coworker and friend and I, like, split backing the kickstarter when they did it and we got all this stuff there's a lot of new republic and rogue squadron patches and this postcard oh a postcard i can send that to someone and these ones are i am one with the force and the force is with me around the rebel logo Mm. stickers that say it's the the Force. force in the supreme style which i thought was hilarious this gorgeous patch that's based on that original concept art that they used to pitch the movie we got some Yub Nub stickers. And I'm, I'm with, with Snoke. Snoke, which is hilarious. Um, I ended up using all of the stickers. This is from a guy called Steel Wars, who we used to listen to, who talked about Star Wars. I saw him on a, on, a, on a panel. You're right. Sorry. Thank you, Alice. I feel so bad. It's the Barbara Kruger style. Thank you. Uh, Supreme ripped off Barbara Kruger, and I'm a yep. big fan of Barbara Kruger's work. I can't believe I dropped that. I like a that your body is a battlefield poster. Yoda. Uh, which I'll bring up because... Oh, the... Actually, no. I'll bring up... Yeah, I'll do your body is a battleground. Ooh, that's great. Yeah. It's, yeah, no, I love her. Sure, her work is amazing. You have a number of things in her style. Yeah, uh, I did a whole era like. working on stuff inspired by her work. Yeah. Uh, but that's what's in R2. That's what's in R2-D2. And yeah, uh, a serious Dan says, I'm just hearing I'm hearing from sources that Blogtoven is wearing an earpiece. Someone fed Blogtoven the answer. <gasps> I don't think that undermines the legitimacy of this show at all. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, that's Barbara awesome. Barbara is great. I love that. Uh, is Gizmonic a New Jersey Dave creation? Good question. Yeah, the R2 was our little Richie. That's true. It's true. It's a big quiz show scenario here on We Are Trash People. This is my favorite little Richie, though. He's not very little. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> 14 pounds of cat. He was 17 pounds of cat. That's true. He used to be more pounds of cat. He, he ended up on a diet. But thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, we everyone, are trash people. for joining us. We hope that you join us this Friday at 9 p.m. Pacific, midnight, East, midnight, midnight Eastern for Grand Trivia Radio Free Multiverse. That's right. Trivia from outside of time and space. Winners get prizes. Yes. Uh, and yes. is it? Are we going to talk about Valentine's this this week, or is that next week? No, Valentine's Earth is not Valentine's Earth, but the Valentine's theme trivia is on the eleventh. But it's still going to be fun. This is twenty general trivia questions posed to you by an evil fish. Yes. You don't want to miss it because if you do, your planet will be destroyed, and you will have no idea why. 
Why? It's true. Why is it? Why are we dead? Why are we floating through space right now? What and could have possibly happened to cause this thing? It couldn't have anything to do with people failing at an arbitrary trivia game. No. Um, no. Oh, and also, I just want to, you know, I already shared this exclusive little detail <laughs> on the Discord, Jedi. but, you know, uh, hmm. this, 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 I already tried to you, I shared it on the Discord, but this Saturday is, is an art toilet, so if oh, you have something you want to share with yes. Mr. Rude, send an email to googiemorning at gmail.com. Absolutely, please do. Uh, art toilets are incredible. They're always so much fun. So and so much fun! Check out the board castle. Yes, check Mondays, out the board castle 7 Mondays at seven p.m. Pacific, ten p.m. Eastern. It's the best show, and I promise you, I promise you that if you are here right now, you will fucking love yeah the board castle. Yeah, you will. So check them out. And if you missed it, I was Mary's guest on yesterday on Mary Houlihan's painting party. So check that out as well, and check out Scum Mole. Scumbo! Which will be happening this Sunday after the weekly brief. Absolutely. And that sounds like a whole lot of fun. Go to scumbo.theweirdinter.net, which is such a good URL. It's a really good which is out, And of course. Oh, and check out Alice's podcast. Yeah, the. Uh, the best idea yeah. I've ever had. Yeah, every week they watch Carol, Alice, and the laser. Watch Carol on the best idea of all best time. Best idea of all time. Best idea dot gay. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> I forgot. I, knew I it love was that good. URL. Best idea dot gay. And Alice also <laughs> has been working on a project to create hosting for websites that are trying to cultivate the spirit of the old internet. And that is the weird inter dot net. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did a, a show. show. We did a show. And look, look at the cat. Look at Oh, yeah, that was a big stretch, huh? You're hungry, huh? Yeah, I you... bet. I bet. Well, now that Gatsby's gone, it looks like the show is over. Good we night and good claw. Good night and good claw. We hope to see you Friday. We'll see you next Wednesday. Good night and good claw. Bye bye. <laughs>